Team USA. We're Team Scotland! Yeah! yeah. Come on, freedom! Hi, I'm Randy Tantlinger, founder of the Team USA versus Team Scotland Amateur Golf Championships. Amateur golfers will gather from across the United States this August in historic Gettysburg, Pennsylvania. Amateur golfers, you can compete in one of five flights, no USGA GIN handicap required. Win your flight at the 2024 Team USA National Championships here in Gettysburg this August, and you will win a trip to St. Andrews, Scotland to play against Team Scotland. This August, golfers from all across the United States will gather here in beautiful and historic Gettysburg, Pennsylvania to play in the 2024 Team USA National Championships. Amateur golfers, you do not need a USGA GIN handicap to play in one of five flights. Win your flight here in beautiful Gettysburg, Pennsylvania this coming August and you'll win a trip to beautiful St. Andrews, Scotland. When golfers gather from across the United States here in historic Gettysburg this August to play in the Team USA National Championships, not only will they be playing for a dream trip of a lifetime to represent Team USA, but will gather also to raise funds for the United Way of Adams County and the Green Beret Foundation. When you come to Gettysburg this August to play in the Team USA National Championships, we encourage you to bring your friends and family. You want to explore historic Gettysburg. You know, the Irish Brigade Memorial behind me right now is just one of thousands of memorials on this hallowed ground. The two famous generals of the battle, General George Meade of the Union Army and General Lee of the Southern Army. General Lee brought his army well up across the Virginia line, deep into Pennsylvania, for what he thought would be the final and decisive battle for the Confederate victory in the Civil War. General Meade had other ideas, and so did the Union troops. For three days, the battle raged here in Gettysburg. We encourage you to spend the weekend in Gettysburg, play in the golf tournament, also explore the battlefield, historic downtown, and all the monuments that make, well, Gettysburg a very special place and very hallowed ground. It's time to go golfing around the Carroll Valley Golf Course at Liberty Mountain here in Gettysburg, Pennsylvania, part of the Gettysburg Golf Trail. Eric's the new pro in the area. He came down from New York and New Jersey. How are you loving country living, as I call it? Loving it. You know, a lot more slow pace down here. Everyone's very friendly, so can't ask for much more. And we got a beautiful golf course here as well, so it's perfect. Tell me a little bit about the scenery and topography around here. Tom's River coming through the golf course. Yep, so it's a good spot. We're right here in, uh, in the val valley, in Carroll Valley. Uh, so we have mountain views all around us. Like I said, Tom's River runs through a couple of the holes here, so we get some cool creeks kind of running through some greens. Obviously the huge pond uh, over our shoulders here around nine and 10. Um, another kind of beautiful spot here on the golf course, but it's a, it's a good one. You know, not quite mountain golf, but got some elevation changes, you know, kind of yep. kind of rolling hills here and there. So it's a, it's a good spot. Number nine's an example of that up the hill. Number 10 down the hill, beautiful golf course. You know, uniquely on most golf courses, Eric, as you well know, you only have four par threes. Correct. Unique challenge here at uh, Carroll Valley. Yeah, so here we actually have six par threes, five par four, uh, fives, and then obviously the remaining, you know. Sections. I would go with fours. <laughs> I would go with par with fours. fours. Okay. Boy, I get a cookie for that, yes. <laughs> so look, Eric and I are gonna head out to the golf course now and look at and play some of these wonderful signature holes here. Wait till you see number three, just a Jim Dandy of a hole with the flowers, in fact, I want to talk about the flowers a little bit. A new addition here at the golf course at Carroll Valley at Liberty Mountain. Flowers behind us right now, almost Augusta S. They're all over the place. Yeah, definitely. No, they put in a, a lot of hard work here over the last couple of years, really getting these flower beds set in. Um, they change the designs, you know, every year to kind of bring a, a new look to the course. And like you said, number three, on one of my favorite holes here, a little par three, uh, kind of reminds me a lot of number 12 at Augusta. You know, the little creek running in front of the green, flower bed behind, and that, that signature green shape, um, it's, a, it's a good spot. You know what, they do great weddings here at Carroll Valley, at Liberty Mountain. 
you know, the Liberty Mountain Resort itself has how many rooms? Uh, 116. 116 rooms. They do weddings. They do, well, anything. Family reunions, all that stuff. But it's great if you have a bunch of friends coming for the wedding or the family reunion. Party up at the uh, hotel, then play yeah. some great golf. Absolutely, yeah. So, you know, we have some new rooms, some rooms that have been existing here. Um, but a great spot for a wedding, great destination, you know, if you're in the area, a couple hour drive, come out Swimming here. Swimming pools galore. Two pools, indoor, outdoor. What's the one with the salt water pool? Oh, I love it, yep. baby. Yep. All right, well, it's time to tee it up on Carroll Valley Golf Course at Liberty Mountain. Well, you'll tee it up because, you know, I'm not that good. <laughs> Thank you. 
you know, this old cannon behind me here in Gettysburg did a lot of battle. You'll be battling at the Team USA National Golf events. A lot of people ask, well, how do you eliminate cheating and sandbagging if you don't require a USGA GIN handicap? Well, we consulted a former USGA golf official and he lended us help in creating our rules and our format. So it's really simple. We have five flights. We do not require you to have a USGA GIN handicap to play in it. We go by an honor system. So, sandbaggers and cheaters beware. We will find you, we will sniff you out. Our competition is very sacred to us. Again, our players are playing to go and stand on the hallowed ground of St. Andrews and on the Swill Can Bridge, where old Tom Morris, Arnold Palmer, Tom Watson, Jack Nicholas have all stood to get their pictures taken in front of the RNA Clubhouse. Our players are playing for a chance to go play some of the finest golf in the world in Ireland. So honest golfers, don't worry. You have nothing to worry about. But you sandbaggers and cheaters, we will find you out and you will be disqualified. But the problem is, if we don't require an official handicap, there are 5% of the players out there who will try to game the system. Well, what we do is this. We trust you on your word. Let's go for the example in the 10 to 15 handicap area. You say that you are a 13 handicap. Well, after two days of competition, you should land in that 10 to 15 category. Now you may get hot and shoot at a 10 handicap over the two days, or you may implode and shoot a 17 handicap over the two rounds of golf you're completely disqualified at that point. So after two competitive rounds, we tally your score. Now, if you fall within your 10 to 15 flight, you are still eligible to win your flight and win the trip to whether it be Scotland or Ireland. However, if you tell us you're a 14 and well, quote unquote, you got hot and you shot a six handicap over those two days, we move you down into the lower flight and you are scored against those golfers. In addition, after round one of play, we do not post scores. We do not post scores. We encourage you and your playing partner for round one to keep your scores to yourself. Now look, a dishonest person, well, they think dishonestly. An honest person, we think honestly, don't we? I don't know how dishonest people think, but if someone comes up to you and says, hey, what did you shoot today? And you know they're in your flight. Even if they're not in your flight, do not tell them your round one score. So, sandbaggers and cheaters beware.